Hello, in this video, the unit highlights some of the essential features that you need to bear in mind while writing programs. Well, there are many different languages can be used to program a computer. Usually, a computer program will be written in some high-level language whose instruction set is more compatible with human languages. A program that is written in a high-level language must, however, be translated into machine language before it can be executed. This is known as compilation or interpretation, depending on how it is carried out. Moreover, at the end of this learning unit, you should be able to understand what is a simple computer program. Explain what is a programming language. Describe the difference between low-level programming language and high-level programming language. Explain what is meant by good programming style. Describe what is meant by interactive programming. Now we will look at the characteristics of well-written programs. Integrity. This refers to the accuracy of the calculations. It should be clear that all other program enhancements will be meaningless if the calculations are not carried out correctly. Thus, the integrity of the calculations is an absolute necessity in any computer program. Clarity. It refers to the overall readability of the program with particular emphasis on its underlying logic. If a program is clearly written, it should be possible for another programmer to follow the program logic without undue effort. It should also be possible for the original author to follow his or her own program after being away from the program for an extended period of time. One of the objectives in the design of C is the development of clear, readable programs through an orderly and disciplined approach to programming. Simplicity. The clarity and accuracy of a program are usually enhanced by keeping things as simple as possible, consistent with the overall program objectives. In fact, it may be desirable to sacrifice a certain amount of computational efficiency in order to maintain a relatively simple, straightforward program structure. Efficiency. It is concerned with execution speed and efficient memory utilization. These are generally important goals though they should not be obtained at the expense of clarity or simplicity. Many complex programs require a trade-off between these characteristics. In such situations, experience and common sense are key factors. Modularity. Many programs can be broken down into a series of identifiable sub-tasks. It is good programming practice to implement each of these sub-tasks as a separate program module. In C, such modules are written as functions. The use of a modular programming structure enhances the accuracy and clarity of a program and it facilitates future program alterations. Generality. Usually we will want a program to be as general as possible within reasonable limits. For example, we may design a program to read in the values of certain key parameters rather than placing fixed values into the program. As a rule, a considerable amount of generality can be obtained with very little additional programming effort. Now let's look to names. Well firstly, you should know exactly what each variable, procedure and function is for. Also explain them carefully. Constants should also be given names. Here are some guidelines. Give special care to choice of names for functions, constants, and global variables. Names should be meaningful and should suggest clearly the purpose of the subprogram, variable, and the like. Keep names simple for variables used only briefly and locally. A single letter is often a good choice for the variable controlling a while for loop, but would be a poor choice for functions. Use common prefixes or suffixes to associate names of the same general category. For example, input file, total file, master file. Avoid deliberate misspellings, for example, index instead of index or count instead of count. Avoid choosing cute names whose meaning has little 
or nothing to do with the problem. Be careful in the use of letters L, O, 1 and 0. Now we come on documentation and format. According to you, why documentation is important? Well, this is because it allows other people to understand your program, but do not over document. Here are some guidelines. Place a prologue at the beginning of each function, including identification, programmer's name, date, version number, statement of the purpose of the subprogram, and methods used. The changes the subprogram makes and data it uses. Reference to further documentation, external to the program. When each variable, constant or type is declared, explain what it is or how it is used, or make this information evident from the name. Introduce each significant section, paragraph or subprogram of the program, with a comment stating briefly the purpose of the action. Indicate the end of each significant section, paragraph or function. If it is not otherwise obvious, avoid comments that parrot the codes. Example, count equals count plus one, increments count by one. Explain any statement that employs a trick or whose meaning is unclear. The code itself should explain how the program works. The documentation should explain why it works and what it does. Whenever a program is modified, be sure the documentation is correspondingly modified. Format. Make use of spaces, blank lines and indentation. Make use of pretty printing. A pretty printer is a system that reads your C program, moving the text between lines and adjusting the indentation so as to improve the appearance of the program and make its structure more obvious. Consistency. Maintain consistency in spacing and indentation. Let's talk a bit about refinement and modularity. Firstly, subdivide the work. Secondly, top-down refinement. Is the real key that is, postpone the detailed consideration, but not the precision. Decide exactly how the work will be divided among sub-programs. A sub-program should do only one task but do it well. Lastly, decide upon the parameters of the sub-programs. Input parameters are used by a function, but remain unchanged. Output parameters contains the results of calculation. In out parameters are used both for input and output. Variables. Local variables are used only in functions. Global variables may be used in functions, but it is not advisable. Now let's look at coding testing, and further refinements. Early debugging and testing. We should debug as we proceed with program development. Each function should be debugged as it is developed. Stubs. Use dummy functions called stubs for functions not written yet. A stub has the function heading, parameter declarations. Input. Input must be properly validated. Output. Output must be properly formatted. Moreover, there are many different languages can be used to program a computer. But the most basic of these is machine language, a collection of very detailed, cryptic instructions that control the computer's internal circuitry. This is the natural dialect of the computer. Very few computer programs are actually written in machine language, however, for two significant reasons. First, because machine language is very cumbersome to work with and second, because every different type of computer has its own unique instruction set. Thus, a machine language program written for one type of computer cannot be run on another type of computer without significant alterations. Usually, a computer program will be written in some high-level language whose instruction set is more compatible with human languages and human thought processes. Most of these are general-purpose languages, such as C. Some other popular general-purpose languages are Pascal, Fortran, and BASIC. As a rule, 
A single instruction in a high-level language will be equivalent to several instructions in machine language. This greatly simplifies the task of writing complete, correct programs. Furthermore, the rules for programming in a particular high-level language are much the same for all computers, so that a program written for one computer can generally be run on many different computers with little or no alteration. Thus, we see that a high-level language offers three significant advantages over machine language, simplicity, uniformity and portability, that is, machine independence. Let's move on to compilation and interpretation. According to you, what is compilation and interpretation? Well, a program that is written in the high-level language must, however, be translated into machine language before it can be executed. This is known as compilation or interpretation, depending on how it is carried out. Compilers translate the entire program into machine language before executing any of the instructions. Interpreters, on the other hand, Proceed through a program by translating and then executing single instructions or small groups of instructions. In either case, the translation is carried out automatically within the computer. In fact, inexperienced programmers may not even be aware that this process is taking place since they typically see only their original high-level program, the input data, and the calculated results. Most implementations of C operate as compilers. Moreover, a compiler or interpreter is itself a computer program. It accepts a program written in a high-level language, for example comma C, as input, and generates a corresponding machine language program as output. The original high-level program is called the source program, and the resulting machine language program is called the object program. Every computer must have its own compiler or interpreter for a particular high-level language. It is generally more convenient to develop a new program using an interpreter rather than a compiler. Once an error-free program has been developed, however, a compiled version will normally execute much faster than an interpreted version. We pass on interactive computing. Well, it is a type of computing environment that originated with commercial image sharing systems and has been refined by the widespread use of personal computers. In an interactive computing environment, the user and the computer interact with each other during the computational session.